I hope you're not so unevolved that you don't know what a zygote is. Do you really expect me to tell you? Well, surprise! It's another AKZ brain teaser to separate the intellectual caviar from the smelt eggs of the world. How do you answer, zygote? <laughs> Once, there was football practice. Gaggles of girls wanting to hop in the old convertible and joy right around town. Me with a healthy head of hair. Yeah, sailors, it was sweet. Makes you kind of wonder sometimes where it all went, huh? I mean, all the good times, cha-cha-cha and all that. Well, I'll tell you, a man like me can still get all the good times he wants. You know where? Correcting homework in the old WP detention hall, that's where. Ha-ha, <laughs> fooled you, huh? Listen, me and Eric got a chance to finally talk to Rocky today. I don't know why it's taking us so long, because I think she's the kind of person we could really like. I felt really weird asking her a favor, though. 
I mean, it was the very first time we ever talked to her. But Errol didn't think it was any big deal. She's always like that. She just blurts out whatever she wants. And Rocket did sound like she'd really like to help us work on the costumes. Errol goes, told you so. But Rocket probably just said that to be nice. If she actually shows up, I'm sure I'll be pretty surprised. Rocket, this is Whitney, and I just hope you're not getting the idea that Cleve likes you or anything just because he pretends to flirt with you in P.E. He was just doing that to make Nicole jealous, okay? Nicole told me to tell you this, but anyway, it is true, even I know that. So stop making yourself look dumb by hanging around, hoping to talk to him every chance you get. See you tomorrow. Bye. But I mean, 
Could you imagine going around being called Regina your whole life? Regina. Regina. Too serious sounding for someone like me, don't you think? That's for sure. Watching Rocket. Watching out, I mean. Like something good on her side. Just she doesn't know it. Which maybe won't be for always. So Nicole and Whitney and I are sitting there in the courtyard after lunch and we see Mavis, like just totally lurking behind one of the pillars. I just know she was listening to every word we said. She was, which proves she's not psychic at all. She's just an eavesdropper.
The most unbelievable thing happened while we were playing soccer today. Nicole split her shorts. <laughs> I don't know if it really had anything to do with Rocket or not, but of course Nicole thought it was completely Rocket's fault. Like she intentionally pushed Nicole or something and made her shorts tear. I wouldn't want to walk around being Rocket after that little scene, that's for sure. Nicole could cut a person in half for doing something not even close to that bad, and you know it. Rocket, listen, there's something I've just got to tell you. This is Whitney, by the way. Remember that thing with Arnold and the mini golf date? I mean, that hideous rumor that was going around about me. Well, see, if Arnold likes you, he gets his family to come to the country club when he knows your family's going to be there. Then he leeches onto you and just stays there. Then the next day, he tells everyone he knows that he had a date with you. Ugh, disgusting. Ugh, and now I think he's got you on the top of his list of girls he likes. So watch out, that's all I'm saying. Next week, Nicole will be telling everyone you went to the movies with him or whatever. So just watch out. Anyway, gotta go.
Hey, don't ask me about Mavis, okay? Sure, I was there, but this kind of baloney, I'm not ashamed to say I know nothing about. I just finally had to write them this letter. The same letter, but two copies. Just to remind them that just because they got divorced from each other, they still had me as much as before. So please stop worrying, because I'll always be their kid and love them tons forever. I think it helped too. I really do. This costume thing is making me crazy. I mean, I have a lot of good ideas, but I've got to do something really great. Rocket, this is Jesse, and thank you so much for sort of coming to my rescue today against Sharla. 
I'm definitely going to change my gym locker. I mean, I'll pay my whole month's allowance if I have to, just to get away from her. Mrs. Letsy's gotta let me. Call me tonight, okay? Bye. So says the wolf man, and so it is.